Hi guys and welcome back to Product Training Tuesdays. So today we're going to be talking about the RC900 Merino wool jersey and that's this one here. So they do it in two colours, so we have it in the burgundy red and we also have it in a dark blue. Um, so the dark blue has a kind of orangey trim so to kind of match the RC520 bike that we have. And of course, the, the burgundy has the black trims. So really, really warm jersey. It's made of merino wool, and that's 50% merino wool. Uh, the rest is polyester um, and a bit of acrylic in there. And the reason for that is because merino generally can sag, especially if it gets wet. So to prevent that, they've added uh, the polyester and the acrylic. So it should, it should really be called like a, a tech wool as opposed to... Uh, just merino wool. So the beauty of this jersey is it will keep you really really warm but it is also really breathable. Not only that it is really good for antibacterial. So if you're going to be using, if you're going to be commuting or you're going to be doing a lot of uh, day packing or, or multi-day cycles then this is going to be the, uh, the item uh, that you really want uh, because it means that you don't have to wash it uh, between uses. So you can just use it all week without it honking, which is quite helpful. So with the, the jersey, you have a zip pocket on the front, which is vented as well, kind of like a mesh on the, on the back. You can put your phone in here. Let's see if this will fit in here. Yeah, it will. Nice. You also have a top pocket here as well. Bit of a style feature. You also have padded shoulders. Now these aren't massively padded, so uh, we're not talking like an 80s uh, thriller style, but if you have a look here, if I just zoom in a little bit, there you go, you can see that you've got a, uh, a padded part, which is actually quite handy for if you have to shoulder the bike. So if you're going to stick the, uh, the bike over your shoulder, um, it will just sort of not dig into your, your shoulder as much, which is quite nice. And then if I turn the jersey around, you can see that you've got a mesh on the back. That, and that's, that helps breathability. And then you have the reflectives. So you've got the two reflectives there, and then you have two on the sides, and then on the arms themselves as well, on the sleeves, which is pretty cool. So there's reflectives on the back, but there are no reflectives on the front whatsoever so bear that one in mind guys so with the zip these aren't locking zips but they are YKKs so you get the garage at the top and at the bottom of the zip and you also get a little storm flap so with regards to the silicon gripper got the silicon gripper on the back down the bottom here but not on the front and this is kind of elasticated. So if you stretch it out, I don't know whether you can see that. There you go, look, you've got the bits of black trim on the inside. So kind of quite nice touch. And then you've got the venting on the side as well, that kind of mesh material. There you go. So the other thing with the jersey is that on the back of the jersey, you've got the three standard pockets. And then you have one on the side for rubbish or for gels. So this is a side pocket. And then you've got the three on the back, standard pockets. But then you have one mesh pocket that is absolutely huge. And, and this thing, you can bulge it out massively. So you can put in their gloves, you can put in a, another jersey. So if you are bike packing, it's going to really uh, help you. So this is the Merino jersey. The one thing I would say is after using it for quite a while it is breathable really warm when it gets wet it still stays warm so uh, it's pretty cool in that respect as well so but because it's really breathable it can get quite chilly when the wind cuts through it and the wind will cut through it so if you're going to be buying one of these jerseys i would make sure that you had a either a a shell, a rain shell, maybe our ultralight jacket, or just a windproof, very thin layer. Even the uh, the gil the gilet 
uh, ultralight windproof chile would be a, a good uh, thing to put on top of this just to kind of keep the chill off uh, because in cold weather it, it will will cut through so it's also good as a as a mid layer if you're going to be wearing a winter jacket you could put this underneath um, and so that would would help the uh, the temperature with that one all right hope that was helpful guys but uh, get them in your stores now they're about 69.99 currently um, so uh, get them if you can take it easy guys